skyrocketing and the currency is plummeting. Is the economy moving? The Baltic Dry Index has hit a new low. The Baltic Dry Index is the assessment of the price of moving all of the globe's major raw materials by sea, including commodities like coal, grain, and iron ore. Tyler Durden of Zero Hedge reports, Last week I received news from a contact who is friends with one of the biggest billionaire shipping families in the world. He told me they had no ships at sea right now because operating them meant running at a loss. Commerce between Europe and North America has literally come to a halt for the first time in known history. Not one cargo ship is in transit in the North Atlantic between Europe and North America. All of them. Hundreds are either anchored offshore or in port. Nothing is moving. It is a horrific economic sign, proof that commerce has literally stopped. The very Chinese shipyards supplying the needed vessels to transport the world's raw materials are going bankrupt due to the struggling economies across the globe. According to Global Times, experts have said that half of China's shipbuilding enterprises will go bankrupt in the coming years. Other signs of a sinking ship? Graham Summers of Zero Hedge reports that the bursting of the bond bubble has begun. The bond bubble was close to 80 trillion in size going into 2008. Globally, the bond bubble has grown by more than 20 trillion since 2008. Today, it is north of 100 trillion with an additional 555 plus trillion in derivatives. Globally, over 50% of all corporate bonds are now junk. In the UK, you have uh, the ability to sell the same bond an infinite number of times. In, in the United States, you're limited. You can't sell the same bond an infinite number of times. You can sell it a few times and claim that it has a collateral value. But in the UK, and this is why all of the major banks and all the major countries, treasuries, outsource their fraud to the UK. This is why the UK is responsible for the Lehman collapse, the AIG collapse, the Bernie Madoff collapse, the London Whale from JP Morgan collapse, because everyone outsources their fraud to the UK because the UK is where you can commit egregious, fraudulent financial behavior. The Dow Jones has lost 1,500 points in 10 days and still has a lot further to fall. The fragility of the markets are worse than pre-2008. One minor trigger could send the globe into at the very least yet another major recession. Regardless, Obama will hear none of that. Anyone claiming that America's economy is in decline is peddling fiction. John Bound for Infowars.com. Another GOP debate is upon us. When you had the World Trade Center go, people were put into planes that were friends, family, and they were sent back. They knew what was going on. They went home and they wanted to watch their boyfriends on television. Who else would come back like that at the Bushes and the Clintons calling them criminals? And this the Saudis. You guys go back to your live feeds. You see, we don't have rights in America. Only the people who are outside of this country have a right. The only right, right. that anybody has is to come live in America, mm -hmm. presumably to live off of us if that's what they choose. They can come live off of us. They can come uh, create war in our country. That's their right. But people in America don't have rights. The first and most important priority of the president of the United States is to protect the safety and security of America. No, it isn't. Someone who You're disqualified. It, you I have an oath like to the Constitution, and the oath to the Constitution says, and the Declaration of Independence says, you are created to protect our freedoms. Right. Not to keep us safe. They didn't want safety. They wouldn't have rebelled against the strongest government in the world if their first priority was safety. Their first priority was liberty. They created a government to protect that. I'm sick of these people. If we want to defend the country, we have to defend against who's are coming in. And Marco is, has more of an allegiance to Chuck Schumer and to the liberals than he does to conservative policy. Do you really think that Republicans have fueled the rise of ISIS? <laughs> Uh, I think yeah, that's where's she been? Who is she? The allies of <laughs> ISIS, the, the Islamic what rebels against doing? Assad, <laughs> that we created a safe space or made that space bigger for <laughs> ISIS to grow. Uh, we know what's going on. We know these guys are running ISIS. 
And when they talk about shutting down freedom of speech, he just repeated the exact same stuff he said in his speech. Even talking about how you don't refer to these people as masterminds, he knows precisely what he's saying. These are a bunch of Morlocks, and the American people are a bunch of Eloy. When they talk about serving America, you're on the menu. Join InfoWars January 14th, starting at 7 p.m. Central for another episode of Political Science Theater 3K. And it's that type of behavior that spurred me to do the research to develop a true nutraceutical formula that was designed to smooth out and help children focus. All of our children are hit with modern mind control. Television, music, fast food, GMOs, sugars, you name it. Young humans have not yet developed their nervous system and are being hammered daily by globalist concoctions. It's no wonder they can't focus and calm down and then are put on dangerous psychotropic drugs. Working with my team, we set out to find the best formula with the highest quality ingredients that children would actually like and take. We worked with the leading manufacturer in nutritional supplements that are safe for children to bring you the most affordable and powerful calming formula out there. Introducing Child Ease with herbs and calming extracts like chamomile and lemon balm and essential nutrients that taste great. Obtain your Child Ease today at InfoWarsLife.com. That's Child Ease exclusively at InfoWarsLife.com. Knockout is back. If you want a product that has 10 known ingredients that naturally get your body to relax, your brain to relax, so you get deep, restful sleep, knockouts it. InfoWarsLife.com. L-theanine, hops flower extract, lemon balm extract, valerian root extract, chamomile flower extract, L-tryptophan extract, melatonin, and more. All organic, all the natural sources. It's the same price as leading brands of melatonin that are three milligrams a piece. It has three milligram, the standard recommended dose for an adult. It's got the GABA. So it would probably cost $50 to take all this as separate pills. It's $19.95. You take one or two of these, and it just is really clean, restful sleep is what the reviews are. It's what I've experienced. And it just synergistically puts everything in there. InfoWarsLife.com. That's InfoWarsLife.com. Or call 888-253-3139. Well, by now, you all have definitely heard this story about some college students who were really upset with the fact that they were being asked to detail some really personal accounts of their sexual history in order to register for classes. This is a new mandatory program that's being rolled out. They're saying it's a federal mandate, uh, but we're seeing as some of these questions are going above and beyond the federal requirement. Now, this particular college, USC, the students were really upset. They got this questionnaire. It was like, please share a little bit about you. Uh, how many times have you had sex, including oral sex? How much have you had to drink in the last few months? You know, how many times have you used a condom? And th this is based on a program that's supposed to be teaching kids about sexual assault. Um, it's not required to ask them all of these personal questions. As Alex Jones said, this is very cult-like. This is what cults do. They ask you very personal questions so that they can use this information against you. And you might say, well, that's just crazy. Why would they do that? The schools just want to educate these kids on sexual assault. Well, indeed, the school had no idea what was even in this questionnaire. They actually were forced to apologize for it. And the USC senior VP for administration said that they would be removing the inappropriate sexual history questions from this training. And so now that raises a question, well, who's in charge of writing this program? Who's in charge of this software? And that's where things get a little bit sticky because they're basically taking the federal mandate. Uh, this is a federal mandate which requires educational institutions to provide information to students regarding sexual abuse and the dangers of alcohol and drug abuse, as well as uh, the procedures that you would want to take if you were the victim of sexual assault. Nowhere in that federal mandate does it require them to take personal information from you. And so earlier this week, I spoke with a young man, Blaine G, and uh, his mother, Mrs. G. Um, he was actually attempting to register for classes, and he was like, no way am I going to answer this. All sorts of red flags were going off for him, so he refused. And it was just sort of a soft rollout of this program at that point. Well, now it's a semester later. And now it's a requirement. And he's actually been shut out from registering from his classes. And so rightly, his mom did a lot of legwork and she was pissed about what she found. And she shared a lot of the information with us. And it turns out that uh, one of the 
one of the software companies that's in charge of this, EverFi, is kind of linked up there with the government. They have a list of known sponsors that include American Express, Walmart, Bank of America, Discover, Target, Morgan Stanley, Hilton, Comcast, on and on and on. And a lot of venture capital firms, including uh, Google, uh, Amazon, um, the former CEO of Twitter, his venture capital firm, all of these, they're investing in this software. And guess what? Right in the privacy policy, EverFi says, and you know, we might share some of these personal details that your kids are offering up with our third party affiliates. Oh, and by the way, we don't guarantee that this won't be hacked into, that your information won't be scooped up, won't be lost somewhere out there in the ethernet or might be used in a nefarious way via a back door. And so it says that, right? You know, I'm obviously paraphrasing, but that's the gist of it in their privacy policy. So let's go ahead and listen to uh, a personal account from a student who refused to take this pervasive, perverse training lesson. All right, joining me now is Blaine. He's a 19-year-old student attending Flathead Valley Community College in Kalispell, Montana. Blaine, thank you so much for joining us. Now, talk to me a little bit about your experience with this program. Um, what happened? So it, was, it became something that was mandated for students. Yes, uh, when I first uh, encountered it, was I was in the Running Start program at Flathead Valley Community College last year, so that'd be the fall 2014 semester. And uh, I noticed on the bathroom walls, that was my first, uh, the first time I learned about the program. It said that there's a mandated program on alcohol education and sexual assault uh, that was due on certain dates, and they offered a $5 coffee card as a reward for completion which I thought was kind of suspicious myself. So why offer monetary uh, compensation for something that you have to take? Yeah, something that's mandatory. Mm -hmm. I looked into it and I found that it was a soft rollout that year, that it actually was not required and that they were going to be making it a hard requirement as of spring 2016 semester. So as they, uh, as I've progressed this last semester, they've also required uh, by certain dates and they have offered uh, more monetary compensation in the form of pizza cards and such, but uh, I have currently been refusing to take the program and mm -hmm. I'm trying to get a waiver currently. And so what's your problem with the program? Like, what are some of the questions that you feel are intrusive? And obviously I know uh, sort of tr tr trying to coax kids into taking this, you know, signing up for this program and offering up your personal information with coffee and $5 gift cards uh, should definitely raise some flags, but what else was it about it that really put you off? Well, it's actually, uh, the main thing with the Haven program, which there's two parts to it, there's alcohol education and Haven, and the Haven is the sexual assault uh, prevention portion. And in it, it's asking you questions like, uh, have you ever uh, coaxed someone with drinks to try to make your chances of having sex with them better? <laughs> And uh, have you ever had sex with someone who was not able to consent at that time, which in their definition is considered rape. Mm -hmm. And uh, there's other such questions as that. Right, and you know, pretty much every guy that's bought a drink for a girl at, the, at a bar has in their mind, wow, this might relax her and you know, make her open up a little bit. So right there, you're, everyone is kind of setting themselves up for um, whatever kind of interpretation whoever's on the other end of the software wants to consider. And of course, they're using all this data mining, um, saying, you know, have you ever had sex while under the influence of alcohol? Well, according to these new rules and interpretations, that's rape. Along the course of your research, you guys have really been looking into this deeply for the last year. What did you come across that really shocked you? Oh, there's a lot of it, I guess, but uh, the amount of stuff in the terms and conditions and what they're allowed to do with it. Basically, they have no guarantee that any, any or all of the information provided is even correct or accurate in any way. And so they're not held accountable at all if they're giving false statistics, which uh, lots of them we looked at uh, appeared to be from uh, contradicting stick statistics with uh, other more reputable sources. Mm -hmm. And uh, I'm really surprised that no one else has really seemed to look into this at all, considering there's hundreds of schools where this is taking place with thousands of students.
Right. And well, because with their, a lot of parents are probably thinking, yeah, of course I would want my child to understand the dangers of alcohol consumption. I mean, kids all the time are go, getting into comas and things like that from binge drinking. Um, so, you know, the, obviously there's a 